But the big one, my favorite story, was this Pepsi commercial. I, have you seen this Pepsi commercial? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the Pepsi commercial, I'll describe it because I know that some people are listening and not watching it. The Pepsi commercial, it, it has this, this demonstration, and you can't tell what the demonstration is for. It's for love and peace. It's for love and peace. It's a meaningless yeah. demonstration. And Kendall Jenner, is that her name? So yeah, she's, yeah. she's is she formerly Bruce's daughter? Is that what she is? So, she still is. Yeah, well, but he's, he, she, I didn't say he's formerly a daughter, but he's formerly Bruce, right? That's like, <laughs> that's, all right, man. So he's far, this is Kendall Jenner. She's a model. And you know that she must have a lot of psychological problems because her father is now sort of her mother. And she's in this thing, this, this big protest is going by and Kendall Jenner is in a blonde wig and she's doing a photo shoot, right? And a kind of, you know, good looking guy kind of says, kind of join the, the activism and all this stuff. And Kendall Jenner heroically takes off her blonde wig and wipes off her lipstick and joins the march and there's a Muslim woman in there for some reason I have no idea what she's doing she's taking pictures and she picks up a Pepsi because it's a Pepsi commercial and she hands it to the kind of grim-faced cop the riot cops who are out there protecting people and she hands it to him and he takes a, a sip of Pepsi and he smiles and everybody cheers okay so, so the right hated this because it romanticizes the, all these marches and protests. And the left hated it because it trivializes all these marches and protests because it actually was an accurate depiction of the marches and protests as being meaningless, confusing groups of people kind of parading their virtue and all this stuff. And, it's, and it makes it all about Kendall Jenner and Pepsi. I love this commercial because it illustrates the genius of capitalism. The geni Capitalism, I've always noticed this. Capitalism is like the blob. Do you remember that old horror movie with Steve McQueen, you know, and the blob would come and eat people and then they would digest it and the blob would get bigger, right? So that's what capitalism does. If you're a communist and you're going you're like, power to the worker, we all workers unite, they'll just make a commercial, have a Coke, you know, have a Pepsi. You know, they don't care They don't care what you think as long as you drink their cola, you know? It's like, so, so it's, like it's all about it's all about hot Kendall Jenner and the Pepsi, you know, it's like, you're, oh, you're protesting, have a cola. We don't care if you're, you're trying to bring down the government, we need to just have a cola. That's all that matters. So I loved it. It was like capitalism at its very best, trivializing all the things that people get angry about just as long as you buy the soda.